All right, guys, welcome back. We have a Jayco Redhawk. Man, these motorhomes have been super hot lately. People are really loving the motorhome scene right now. People are getting into camping, traveling all over the world. If you want to travel the world in the best comfort, you want a Jayco. And I'll tell you some reasons why, but one good reason, look at this storage on the outside. A lot of Class C's, you don't get that extra storage on the outside. You got storage there, storage there, storage there, motion sensor lights, and then you have your onboard propane. You have frameless windows now on this Jayco Red Hawk. You have a power awning that extends out and your white LED light that goes all the way down. It lights up your entire site on your campsite side. So that is super awesome. You got your chrome hubcaps that come on these. Check those bad boys out. You got aluminum step in and out. This is cool. So if you were upset about your cab area and being a little tight, this console here for your cup holders actually pop off in the center here so you can get more space for your legs. Because it is a little tight, you know, it's a E450 chassis. Uh, one cool thing before we step in, Jayco was gonna do a two year limited warranty inside. So everything inside will be two years. Any other manufacturer on the market is only gonna be one year. Jayco gives you a whole extra season of coverage just in case, plus you get a three year structural warranty. Your roof, floor, sidewalls, all covered for three years. And this also has the cat strap that they just started doing. So protect your motorhome. It's got a little, um, like a heat shield looking thing that goes around your Cadillac converter and it has a little alarm on there. So if it senses any activity or suspicious activity, it will set off an alarm just so they don't steal your Cadillac converter. How cool is that? They need that for regular cars too. And now they just started doing blind spot cameras on each side of the motorhome. So now you hit your turn signal, it will show up with this little camera on each side on your Sony monitor right up in your cab area. So you can see your blind spots before changing lanes, before getting over its full color. You also have a backup camera on here, making it easier getting into your sights. And you can take a glance at it while you're going on the road too, if you need to see what's going on behind you. And another cool thing before we get inside, I know you want to see the inside of this thing. This has a fiberglass, one piece fiberglass roof. Huge, huge, huge. Any Class C on the market will not have a one piece fiberglass roof like Jayco does. Jayco spends a lot of money just on their construction and fiberglass roof, the first spot water would come in on a Class C motorhome, especially a used one after someone has already owned it and not resealed it. This does not have a seam right here. So the first entry point would be on this cab area. This is a seamless cap. Look at that. So cool thing about this is also on the inside, this bed holds 750 pounds. Most campers will only be four, maybe 500 pounds of a weight capacity. Jayco has 750, they're the only ones that have 750. And that's because when they're building this sidewall to this camper, they're actually extending the aluminum um, framing on the inside into your cab area. So it's giving it a lot more structure and it's not, it's gonna be doing a lot of bouncing going down the road. This one's not gonna bounce. It's gonna be a lot more sturdy, solid. It's all welded together aluminum. So it gives you a lot more sturdiness. And then you get a uh, frameless window up there too. How cool is that? All right, time to check out the inside. And then also they do a J ride, so they upgrade a couple um, components on the suspension. Once they add the box, not many manufacturers will do that, like recomputer balancing the dry shaft, giving you a solid, more sturdy ride, giving you the most comfortable ride possible. But look at this layout. This is the first one I've had with bunk beds, actual bunk beds. So this has one, two, three, four, five, and then six sleeping spaces with your bed in the back. So you have a queen bed right up here. Like I said, this holds 750 pounds up here. This folds down and creates into like basically a queen size bed. You have a TV up here that swings out. It's Insignia Smart TV. And then there's flips like it is now. Sorry, there's plastics in here. This is brand new, we just got it. To make it easier, get in and out of your cab area. And by the way, this is a new 7.3 Godzilla engine with a six speed transmission instead of a five speed transmission. Some of the older models were having trouble getting up to speed, changing lanes. You ain't gonna worry about that anymore. This thing has everything. It's got solar panel on the roof, automatic leveling jacks, a generator that's on board. You can prime it and start it from the inside of the unit. This thing's amazing. All right, let's talk and let's, let's look through this thing. So you have a new Furion 12 volt fridge. Look at that puppy. So new for 24, they're doing the 12 volt fridge like the travel trailers and fifth wheels now. Look at that, nice and deep storage. It's not super wide, but there's only so much they can do. But look, they have more storage up here. This turns into a bed, this turns into a bed. Another cool thing about Jayco is they do seat belts in the dinettes and the sofas. Check this out. Look at that. You won't find this kind of construction or this many seatbelts in 
any Class C. If you're looking at a Class C, pop the seat open and check this out. Look at this. All welded tube aluminum framing, and they have four seat belts in this dinette. Most of them will only have one or two. Sometimes won't even have seat belts. Look at that. And you can even add a car seat. How cool is that? Jago thinks of everything, and they're they're definitely about safety, construction. All these things are important to them. There's no legs on your table. This does make into a bed, like I mentioned. But this is actually attached to the wall. There's a shock that pushes this down, and then it makes into a bed. And there's no poles getting in and out of this dinette, so it's a lot easier getting in and out of this dinette. And then you got two more seatbelts right here. Very, very cool. Look at so now you get your bunk beds. So separate sleeping spaces for the kids, family members, whoever. You want another TV right here. You want another TV right here if you wanted to. You got drawers underneath that's built in. You got little curtains that are built in right here. Got their own individual lights, their own individual windows. And you get a nice big bathroom. That's a walkthrough bathroom. This is an awesome layout. Awesome, awesome layout for a Class C motorhome. Toilet's in a good spot. You got some linen storage right here. Another medicine cabinet on this side. That's pretty tall. Stainless sink in your uh, bathroom. All real wood. This is the modern farmhouse cabinetry. Look at that little gray wash on there. You have your nice tall stand-up shower with the magnetic glass door catch. Hooks on the wall for your towels. Now we're going into the master suite. Look at this. Queen size bed back here. Pillows, comforter come with it. Blue little reading lights. Fast charge right here. Set your phone on top of the aerial charge or there's a USB on the side right here. And there's outlets for your phone, CPAP machine, a couple drawers. Very nice. Escape window just in case. Look at the storage in the bedroom. There goes your telescoping ladder. That's to get up to your bunk beds or your bed up front. This is a cover to block everything off as well so no one can see what's going on while you're camping. All your booklets, your water filter will be in there for the camper. All these drawers. Look at these dresser drawers. Whoa. All real wood. Look how many drawers are. Oh, look at that. Oh, so I think you would mount the TV in here. Huh. Interesting. I'll have to find out about that. I don't know if I'd mount it to this, but I think you'd put on a big swivel mount and that's where the TV would mount. Or you could set a TV here because you don't want to take up your closet space. Pocket door here coming into the bedroom. Sorry, I left this door open. Look at your kitchen. High point residential microwave. It looks like a convection to me. Wow. Nice. Three burner stove top. This lifts up. This will be electric. This will be propane and your oven will be propane. This uh, creates into its own little backsplash for you. Three burners on top. Auto sparker. Don't worry, there's no propane in it right now. Got some lights on the front there. This backsplash all around here. Stainless steel split sink. Everyone likes a split sink, it seems. Storage underneath. More drawers. Oh, there goes your remote. Look at that. Certificate from Jayco. Look at that. Very nice. I love the colors on this. I love this gray wash. Very modern and farmhousey. There's your outlet for your microwave. You got a shelf in there. Oh, I like the fascia pieces too. Got a little fancy touch to it. But yeah, this is like one huge slide out on this side. Uh, only one slide out. Let's see. Yeah, one slide out, and it's this entire side is a slide out. So even when this is in, this only comes in. It's not a crazy big slide. Advantage to that is in a motorhome, you can actually be walking up, using the bathroom, going to the bedroom, doing stuff while you're on the road. So it's actually pretty neat. So this, you have to worry about when you have a big, huge slide out, you got to worry about how much space you have when you're traveling. So in this one, it's only going to be about a foot slide out. So it's only coming in about a foot. It's probably coming to the edge of that armrest right there. So you're going to have all this space to actually get through while you're traveling. Or if you pull into a rest area without opening your slide out, you can access everything into your bedroom. You can, someone be sleeping in there. You can use the bathroom. You have access to everything in this coach. This thing's awesome. This one does have the Ford chassis, like I mentioned. Very, very cool. You kind of just hop in and go. All your controls will be right here. Like I said, you can check out your tank levels. This one has tank heaters on it. So you got 12 volt pads that are on your tanks, keeping them from freezing up. It's all enclosed under there. You have the King antenna. You just turn this to get better reception. Woo. This thing is amazing. 
I got some other models in stock. This one is a 31 foot. I don't know if I mentioned that. 31 foot Jayco Red Hawk Class C motorhome. Nothing but the best here with Tony T. I also got some pop-ups on display inside my showroom because it is a little wet outside today, but don't worry about that. And I got a couple 22 footers, two different layouts. One has a bed slide, one has a dinette slide. And then the one with the bed slide, I have in a Chevy version as well. The 30 foot just sold today. These things are going quick. And which one's this, a 26? Yeah, this one's a 26 foot. It's got electric Murphy drop down bed. You can see in there. So you have a couch, got a fireplace. That one's cool. For a couple's coach, that thing is awesome. But yeah, this is a Jayco warehouse. This thing is sweet. We've been selling these like crazy. Had a couple already leave. Uh, before we get over too, you got more storage on this side. Slide topper awning. So you have a... Uh, Sorry, a slide topper that's covering your slide out. So that's an awning designated just for your slide out to protect that from debris, tree branches, acorns, water, ice, snow. Nothing's gonna get up on top of that slide out. You always wanna double check if you don't have one of those and make sure there's nothing on top of your slide before you're bringing it in and out because you don't wanna put straight on those seals or mess up those seals at all. You want your unit to be fully protected. We want you to be fully protected. There's your generator down there. There's the exhaust pipe for that. It's a quiet generator. That's the Cummins. And yeah, if you're looking for a Class C, you're looking for the best ride, you're looking for the best handle, looking for the best warranty, looking for the best dealership, come ask for Tony T. I'm here at National RV Detroit. I cannot deliver these. You do have to come pick them up and you will get a one-on-one -on -one demonstration and learn how everything works on this coach right here or any other coach in my showroom. Don't you worry about that. We got a couple left. And uh, yeah, come get a great deal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, give me a holler, guys. Thank you so much. Campus season is here.